What's up guys? I just want to talk to y'all about rates of weight loss, how quickly you should lose weight because I know it's uh, gyms are opening back up, the quarantine is over for some people and we're looking to lose the weight that we gain while we're on lockdown. But if you go too quickly, you can uh, build yourself a whole host of problems that you're going to have to work extremely hard to get around. You may have got you know to your goal or close to your goal very quickly, but now you have an obstacle, a plateau. The way that you're likely to arrive at a plateau and, and the way that I've seen a lot of people hit that wall is just losing weight too quickly. If you lose at upwards of around 2% of body fat per week, you are highly increasing your odds of developing unwanted metabolic adaptations to weight loss. So you're, you're restricting calories for so long that your body puts in place a lot of hormonal and just physiological mechanisms to reduce your caloric expenditure throughout the day and reel that back in. Um, your recovery and your performance are going to go way down. Um, ask anybody at the end, tail end of a bodybuilding diet, they're about to step on stage. They are definitely not themselves in the gym. They are not being able to work as they normally are. So those are some pretty obvious reasons why you shouldn't aim for that 2% of weight loss uh, per week. But on the other end of that, 0% or you know that very, very slow rate of weight loss, what that's going to lead you to is you're just not going to be able to make adjustments because in reality, when you set your calories, when you, you track your food and everything, that is just a guesstimate. You have to track your actual data in order to adjust and make progress and, and continue making progress and avoid plateaus. So if you're down at that extremely low percent of body fat loss or body weight loss per week, you're just not going to see changes in time. So if you're looking to plan for actually predictable weight loss, shoot for 1% body, uh, body weight loss per week. What that's going to do is going to allow you to avoid losing a lot of lean body mass. It's going to help you avoid a lot of these metabolic adaptations that are really just there to protect you. They're these built-in mechanisms that you shouldn't really fear, but you should plan for and plan to try and avoid by doing things that allow you to fall within this around 1% of body weight loss per week. And finally, in that range, it's going to allow you to avoid diet fatigue, how much you're preoccupied with food, how resistant your body is to the dieting process in general. And you may be wondering, if you have a lot of body weight to lose, can you shoot for that 2% and be fine? And in reality, you, you can for some time, but you need to pay attention to things because I mean, you need to pay attention to your sleep, how your sex drive is, how your, uh, your training is in the gym. Those kind of things indicate whether or not you are responding favorably to the weight loss approach. But keep in mind, just because you have a lot of weight to lose doesn't mean that that 2% isn't going to be incredibly stressful for your body and you need to consider whether or not that is the right approach for you. So the bottom line is guys, if you're looking to avoid a lot of unwanted effects and not lose motivation because you're not seeing results quick enough, shoot for about 1% of body fat, body weight loss per week. There's still going to be obstacles, it will still get difficult, but it's going to lead to a much more sustainable and much more feasible approach for a lot of people. So if you're looking for guidance through this process, come see one of our icon trainers and we can walk you through it.